welcome to MLS Now. I'm Rachel Bonetta, and this is my co-host for today, former Houston Dynamo forward, Kaylin Carr. Thanks for having me out from New York. No problem. This weekend is Toronto FC's home opener, and they face Houston, of course. You can watch 5 p.m. on ESPN2, and if you're in Canada, you can catch it on TSN. Obviously, our allegiances lie with our respective teams. Kaylin thinks Houston will win, and I obviously do not. So we thought we would partake in a good old debate and see who comes out on top. Three rounds, and the loser will have to don the winner's scarf of choice. Ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Ladies first. Okay. TFC is finally coming home. This is Toronto FC's home opener, and they've already played seven regular season games away from home on Nemo Field. Got a nice little makeover, adding an additional 8,000 seats. They won three of those games and are sitting pretty in the fifth spot in the East. They're finally coming home. They'll have thousands and thousands of their own fans cheering them on. Something that players like Giovinco and Josie Alcero have yet to experience this season. Well, I know that Toronto crowd will definitely be buzzing, but my guys in orange have found some southern hospitality north of the border of late. On three of their last four trips to BMO Field, they've headed back to Texas with points in pocket, including a 1-0 victory where the team was playing with only 10 men. Okay, that's a fair point, but as far as I'm concerned, the pass is pass. Judges with me. Okay, round two, here we go. Let's talk about star power for a sec. Juvenco has completely stepped up lately when his team has been struggling. He and Josie are both killing it with four goals apiece so far this season. They clearly have a flair for the spectacular. Check out Seba's two ridiculous free kicks from this year. And yes, they are both away from home. Okay, I'll give Giovinco his props. Mm -hmm. He can definitely knuckle the ball in some pretty crazy ways. But when it comes to set pieces, you gotta go with my guy Brad Davis. Add Giles Barnes to the mix, and you gotta give Houston the edge. I'm not gonna brag, but I think I might have even scored a set piece against you guys. Okay, fine. Just because you scored on us, I guess I'll give you the point. But you were wearing this, so just want to point that out. Now our third and final round. Let's talk about some recent form in their last three games. The Dynamo have given up ten goals and have lost their last two games. Now, meanwhile, Toronto has won their last two league games, and when they played Montreal on Wednesday night's Canadian Championship, they didn't even play Josie or Juvenko. So you know that they're taking this Sunday very seriously. You're my card. Fair point. Houston has definitely had a rough stretch the last few games. Mm -hmm. Outside of a moment where they switched off and an excellent save from San Jose's David Bingham, mm -hmm. they look much better though. Okay. So I know all those guys in the locker room, I gotta have faith. I think this weekend is the time for them to turn it back on track. Well, I think we all know who took that debate, so here you go, Kellen. What? Uh, this doesn't seem fair. You can wear this for the rest of the day if you want to. What do you guys think? Who will take the three points this weekend, Toronto or Houston? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, Sunday 5 p.m. ESPN 2 or Tuesday. Thanks for coming. It was fun.